Hey everybody, Nick here with another five minutes of couples therapy. Uh, this week, I wanted to talk about the four things that every couple should avoid if you want to be happy and stay connected with your partner. So those things um, are called the four horsemen. And these things were uh, discovered by the Gottman Institute in research that they did over a span of 50 years with thousands of couples. Um, they looked at how these couples interact with each other, um, and then they followed up with these couples 10, 15, and 20 years after they uh, initially observed them communicating and interacting. And what they found were these four things that unhappy couples do all the time and happy couples do almost never. Those things, we already talked about the first one last week, is, and that's criticism. Um, the second one is defensiveness. The third one is contempt. And finally, the last one, stonewalling. So let's talk about those just really briefly this week. Um, and then in the following weeks, we'll kind of break down each one in a little bit more detail. Um, so like I said, last week we talked about criticism, right? That one is fairly obvious. Um, there is kind of a distinction to be made though with criticism. Um, so when we talk about criticism, we're talking about things that are critical of your partner's character, okay? Not necessarily complaints, right? Because if there's something that's bothering us in our relationship, we should be free to discuss that. So um, if your partner's leaving dirty dishes in the sink all the time, you should you know, be comfortable and it should be safe for you to discuss how that's impacting you. That's not criticism that's just having a complaint about how you guys are managing your household and how it can uh, be made better. Criticism would be like, you're a slob. Why do you leave dirty dishes in the sink all the time? Okay, so there's a, a real difference there. Uh, defensiveness, which is our second horseman, um, is just what it sounds like. It's, it's being defensive. It's usually a response to criticism. Um, so when we feel criticized, nine times out of ten we're gonna go on the defense and try to justify what we we're doing um, so there's different tools that we use in in couples therapy to help people kind of overcome defensiveness and the, the chief of those is to be responsible for something in every conflict conversation both partners have something that they can be responsible for so often when I'm in a session with a couple um, and I see both 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 sides kind of moving towards defensiveness um, I'll, I'll ask them what's what's one thing that each of you can be responsible for in this conversation and it's like it's almost like magic right like when each person can say you know I I can really um, own that I wasn't communicating in a skilled way and you know when they can both just find even a, a small thing to be responsible for it pushes them into more of a solution-driven conversation. Um, so the third thing is contempt. Contempt is really um, when one partner communicates from a position of superiority. Um, so it's really the, the point of contempt is to make the other person feel inferior and to make the person using the contempt feel superior. Um, Obviously, that's not something we want to be doing in our relationships if we would like to, to you know, be healthy, connected, open, and enjoying our relationship. Um, so the final one, stonewalling. This is what happens when we become physiologically flooded, right? Um, so this isn't an emotional state. This is something that actually happens physically in your body when you get pushed so hard Usually, um, as a result of a lot of criticism and contempt, um, your you your brain like switches into survival mode, and your brain's limbic system takes over. So your higher level functioning in your uh, cortex kind of shuts down, and you get into that fight, flight, or freeze response. Um, so when that happens, a common response is to stonewall, and that's where you just shut down stop communicating stop engaging in the conversation you know maybe you start looking at your phone even though your partner's still talking to you um, 
and you're really just not able to communicate in that space. So what I often suggest that couples do when that happens is just say, you know what, I need a 20 minute break and go for a walk, read a book, do something completely unrelated to the conflict to allow yourself to kind of reset and get back into that higher level functioning where you're able to communicate in a way that isn't gonna cause harm to your partner. Um, so I hope that helped. In the coming weeks, we'll be talking about defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling and the different remedies to, to help overcome those in, in more detail. So I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys all next week.